the first one we're looking at is we put the totem into this and you'll see this will allow me to release the friction without having to open a gate uh, which will give you some advantages in some cases we're going to have this in this configuration so we're actually putting that into the big hole that we usually are rigging through and now that we've measured the rope so like most of our videos the the load on this one is going to be uh, kind of on your right side when we're looking at it everything else goes back into our bag so we've already measured the rope that we're going to need to get us to the ground we're going to take that bite and come in and this is what we're going to do is we're going to bring that up we're going to create our friction just like this. This first one we're going to show you has kind of an extra safety on it, which gives us a little bit room to groove as far as how much friction we really need to be able to control it. So what we're going to do is I already have it tied on here. If you need practice on tying how to tie a VT Prusik, go ahead and check our video out on that. So I'm going to bring that VT down. I'm going to click that into the bottom part of this anchor. This is just going to give us a little bit more security. It's also going to give us some leeway and adjustability on our friction when we have to release it. So whether it's in a straight down configuration like we're in an elevator shaft or if it's something that's going over an edge and there's a bunch of friction, it can keep it so we can go really low friction in this part to be able to not have to fight friction to be able to lower somebody. So that is the configuration that we have. When we release that, we milk that VT Prusik out. So that's really holding our weight. We want to make sure that we have no slippage in there. And then we're going to tie this off just as kind of a extra safety on there. So for this, it's going to be pretty easy to do. We're just going to take that up into what its brake position would be. So if I'm lowering, having to lower somebody, right, I just pull up on my BT and then be able to release this nice and easy. If anything goes wrong, I can let go of my BT. It captures my load. So it's having that extra safety in there that we normally don't have, but in some configurations, it may be worth it to tie that off. We've got a couple ways to do it. Let's just not get complicated in that. We send a bite through one of the stitch plates on here. We can tie a big old knot, like a catastrophe knot behind there. If we wanted to, we could do a slip knot that breaks out because we know we're also going to be rigging this for a rig to raise. We're going to come in here and we basically have our canyon quick draw but we have it uh, tripled over all we have is a progressive capture of spock in this case we're building this off of what's commonly available in, in most totem racks and we are putting that up into our shelf so this is one of those cases where having a shelf works out really really nice so we can gain a little bit of separation not lose distance towards an edge if it's tight uh, it also won't smash the vt prusik when we lower it onto there so in this case just because we'll have this in there if you're running that anchor system knowing that at any given time you may need to have a rig to raise we can just slip that carabiner right in here, tighten that up, and then that is going to be what's releasable. You'll see even if I had this and I'm weighting this with that friction in there, I'm really still very loose over on this side when we're weighting that. So that's going to be our safety on here. We'll let that rope come down. So as we're repelling, we have people going. This is what we're managing at the anchor. Somebody gets stuck. Anything occurs in there. Just the opposite of what we just showed. We're just going to release that back carabiner now releases this for us. Keep in mind, if, if we start releasing this and we needed extra friction, we can actually just mine this and keep that extra friction going through here if we needed to. Doubtful you will ever get to that point at all, regardless of how heavy that uh, repeller is or how much friction you have on edges. And then from there, to be able to lower, we will just mine our BT Prusik down here and modify that friction right here at our anchor. When we had that tied off previously, and I won't go through the whole thing again, if we realize that, oh my gosh, the guy's not that far down, it'd be much more efficient if we raise them versus lowering them. This is already in a rig to lower. To do the rig to raise, we're going to release this off, make sure that our VT has all the weight of, of our repeller on there. At that point, we can come right in. Here we have it, and we're going to rig our Spock on there. Keep in mind that the non-cam side of our Spock right here is the part that's going to be facing our load directly. We're just going to flick that right in, get that into our separate carabiner, this rigged into our shelf, click that in, release the cam, and then we're going to slide that down as far as we can towards our VT. Once we're ready to convert that over, we just release that VT to where we have slack in there now. Now our cam has all of our weight. We can now just disconnect this, slide that down slightly, and in this case we'll grab our ARS with the becket on it, take it right into our haul line, clip it into the VT that's already on our rope, slide that down as far as we can towards that edge, and now we can start raising on a 3 to 1.